Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video on drawn functions. In this video, we're going to look at three typical functions questions. So let's have a look at our first question. Our first question says a function f of x is defined as f of x equals 4 for the domain x is bigger than or equal to 0 but less than 2. f of x is equal to x plus 2 for the domain x is bigger than or equal to 2 but less than 3. And finally, f of x is equal to 8 subtract x for the domain x is bigger than or equal to 3 but less than or equal to 6. Okay, so let's start off with our first bit of the function, f of x is equal to 4. Well, that's going to be a horizontal lines going through 4. And it's for the values of x bigger than or equal to 0, but less than 2. So in other words, from 0 to 2. So from 0 to 2, we know that we have got it's equal to 4. The function is equal to 4. Right, so next we're going to draw f of x equals x plus 2 for x is bigger than or equal to 2, but less than 3. So this is a straight line with a gradient of 1 and a y-intercept of 2. Um, putting in our value of x of 2 into this, we're going to get 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So that's great. It's going to join up here. And it's going to go with a gradient of 1, so it's going to rise like so. We have our x is less than 3. Let's put 3 in and see what we would get. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So obviously if it went up with a gradient of 1, it would go up to there, our value of 5. And let's just test our last section. If we put 3 in here, it subtract 3 is equal to 5 also. So that's great that it does join up. And if we join that up with a straight line, that's our middle section, our x plus 2. And our last section, as we know, if we put 3 in, we get 8 subtract 3, which is 5, so it's going to join up there. And if we put in our 6, we're going to get 8 subtract 6, which is 2. And we know it's a straight line with a neg uh, gradient of negative 1, so putting in 6 will give us a uh, value of 2. And if we're going to join them up, and it would look something like this. So that's what the function would look like. We have got our f of x equals 2, so our straight line from 0 to 2, our flat line from 0 to 2. We have our next section, which is x plus 2, so it's got a gradient of 1 going outwards like so, to the point 5. And then our last section, it subtract x, so a negative gradient, so it's going to go down, and, and so it'll reach the point 2 there. Okay, so that's part A, which was draw f of x, which we have done. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at part B. And part B says write down the range. So the range is the outputs, the, really the heights of the, the function. So we're going to look at the heights of the function here. So it reaches a height of 2. as the lowest height of the function, 2. And it goes up to the greatest height would be 5. So we're going to say f of x, the outputs are always bigger than or equal to 2. So the heights are always bigger than or equal to 2. But they're always less than or equal to 5, that greatest point. So the range of this function, this f of x, is the heights are between 5 and 2. And that's it. So f of x is bigger than or equal to 2, but less than or equal to 5. OK, let's have a look at another question. So another function we've got to draw. So our next question says, a function f of x is defined as f of x equals minus 4 for values of x or domain of bigger than or equal to negative 6 but less than negative 2 so it's going to be a flat line let's start off by drawing that actually so we know it's going to be negative 4 from going from negative 6 across to negative 2 like so we then have f of x is equal to negative x squared so x squared is a u shape negative x squared is an n shape parabola like so going from negative 2 to 2 so let's draw that so we have got Negative 2 squared is 4, but this negative so is going to be negative 4. That's great, it joins up. We then have, well, if we put in our values, minus 1. Minus 1 squared is 1, but it's negative, so it's negative 1 there. 0, well, 0 squared is 0. Negative, well, that's 0. We then have, neg uh, we have 1. 1 squared is 1, but it's a negative, so it's going to be negative 1. And finally, 2. 2 squared is 4, and it's negative, so it's going to be negative 4. So there would be that parabola, that n shape that looks something like this. Hope this goes okay, my drawing here. So yeah, uh, yeah, it's okay. And then down, and so like that. Okay, and our last section, let's just check it joins up with our negative 4 here. So let's substitute 2 in here. So we have got our last bit, f of x is equal to 3x subtract 10. So 3 times 2 is 6, take away 10 is negative 4. That's fantastic. It's a straight line with a gradient of 3, so it's going to be rising sort of as you go across 1, I've got 3, across 1, up 3, and so on. And let's see what we get. So actually, we can just substitute in 5. So 3 times 5 is 15, take away 10 is 5, because obviously it's a straight line. We know it's going to go up to 5 across and up to 5. And then we know it's a straight line, so we can just draw, join that up like so. Okay, and our part B 
that's part A done. We've drawn y equals f of, y equals f of x. Our part B is to write down the range, so the heights of this function. So the heights are going between negative 4 and 5, and it does reach 5, and it does reach negative 4, so we're going to write that down, that f of x, our outputs are always bigger than or equal to negative 4, but always less than or equal to 5, and that's it. Right, so our last question says, here's a graph of y equals f of x, and it consists of a quadratic curve, well, it's this part here, and two straight lines, so this line and this line. We've been asked to define f of x, and that'll also include stating the domain as well. So first of all, we're going to write f of x equals, and we're going to write get the equation of this line to begin with. So it's going from negative 6, 0 down to negative 3, so it's obviously got a gradient of, well, rise over run, so the rise is negative 3 divided by 6, so it's going to be negative a half x, and then we've got the y-intercept, minus 3, 3, and the domain would be, well, for values of x, x is going to be bigger than or equal to negative 6, but less than 0. Our next part of the function, this part, the quadratic. So here we've got the quadratic. It's 0, negative 3, and then it goes 1, negative 2, and 2, 1. So it's, it looks to me like an x squared, but it just looks a bit lower down. It's not going through the origin. So to me, it looks like the x squared, but it's 3 lower. Let's test that and see. So 0 squared is 0. Take away 3 would be negative 3. 1 squared is 1 take away 3 would be negative 2. Great, this is looking good so far. And 2 squared is 4, take away 3 would be 1. So it's going to be x squared, take away 3. And that would be for x, which is bigger than or equal to 0, starts at 0, and all the way to 2, so less than 2. And our last bit of f of x, so our last bit, this straight line, it's got a gradient, well, let's have a look and see what the gradient would be, across 1, up 1, across 1, up 1, across 1, up 1, that's great. So it's going to be y equals x, or f of x equals x, and then we need to find the y-intercept, so going back a bit, minus 1. And that would be for values of x, which are bigger than or equal to 2, and less than or equal to 6. And that's it.